All right, guys, so we're gonna go over what uh, my testing sequence looks like for the HIT if you have a valve dynamo. So it's a little different than the standalone products like a MicroFET because your testing protocol is really gonna be based on the way the app's set up. So what I did was I logged on to uh, the valve dynamo app and I'm gonna connect to the Wi-Fi right now. So I open the app, I'm gonna push sync devices, found my dynamo really quickly, identifies which pads I have. For me, I'm using the palm pad because that's gonna help me be a little less painful or painless. And then I'm gonna have the curve pad, which is gonna be more comfortable for the patient. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. It's connecting. And then just like that, it syncs up pretty quick. And then now I'm gonna go into profiles or sorry, I'm gonna to go to test. And with the test, I already made some clusters, which you'll, um, at the end of the video, we'll go over into what that looks like. And for this one, I'm gonna use the cluster with just a few tests, and I'm gonna test um, both sides on one test versus um, the same sequence I did with the microfed if you watched that video. But really, with the Val Dynamo, you can customize a protocol to run through it super quick, either way. But for this one, I'm going to hit Dynamo plus Hip Cluster, which is the one I built. And then I'm going to start, it runs you the sequence here. And I'm going to select Profile. This is Miss Stacy, so I'm going to go ahead and look up her name. Found it. And then, um, so this one is already starting on Abduction right side. So from there, I'm going to click Start Testing, and I'm going to... At this point, I'm gonna make sure that nothing is touching those pads, and I'm gonna hit zero device, and then we're good to go. So I'll put this right here for everyone to see what's going on. Uh, you can barely see it, but you'll at least see the colors moving. So for this point, it's gonna want me to test her uh, right-sided abduction first. So Stacy, I'm gonna have you turn that way. And get your knees gonna be bent. This is gonna be straight. Uh, again, arms holding the table or not, doesn't matter as long as it's consistent. But you're going to hold it up here. Hold and try not to let me beat you, okay? Ready? And go. Push, 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 and rest. So that one will automatically record that trial. And then again, ready? Hold here and go. Push, 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 and rest. Good. Um, so I'd say two trials there. But once I'm ready to switch over, for the sake of this video, we're gonna go just uh, one set or one rep for most of these. I'm gonna hit next, and then it's gonna go into the left side. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and have her slip over to the other side. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here. Hold here, and go. Push, 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 and rest. And just rest there. So again, I don't have to push on this app to take a new test. It'll just kind of give me a, blue, a green sign saying good to go, and I could move on to the next rep. Uh, again, for the sake of this, we're just going once, so we're gonna go to next test, and we're gonna go start testing. In my head, I built this, I already know it's gonna go right side A deduction. So what we're gonna do is go here. Wow, it's like Stacy's already done this test. She knows what she's doing. So we're gonna have this here, hold, and go, hold, 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 and rest. And again, I'm not gonna push down as hard as I can um, once it hits the table. I'm gonna kind of give away right when I feel it break because if we break down, that's gonna increase the force and give us a false value there. Um, so with that one, that was the right side. I'm gonna have her turn over to the other side. Hit start testing with that one. Uh, one of the attendees of the course uh, had access to a PTA or PT Tech. And um, they were able to push the app for them, make things even faster. But this one, I'm going to check your um, your left side. So let's get this leg straight. And I should have kept this down right there. And we're going to move all the way up. And ready? And go hold, hold, and then rest. Good. So I'm letting go right when I feel that break there. And then we're going to go next test. And so this one. I'll make sure it's there. If there's one move on it, so I'm going to zero the device. And then this one is internal rotation. So the top right side, I'm going to have you lay on your stomach. And then for the right side, 
I'm going to have her bend this way into rotation. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go from the outside. And again, I'm going to be in a pulling direction. Ready, and go. Hold, 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 and rest. Good. And then again, we're just doing one rep. I'll go to the next. I'll go to the other side. Hit start testing. Let's go right here. Ready, and go. Push, 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 and good. From there, it's good enough for me. I'll hit next. We're going to start testing. And then now we're going to go on X and rotation on the right side. So right here, I'm already in the exact position I need to be. I'm going to have her start this way, hold here, and go. Push, 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 good. Right there, and I'm going to hit next. And start testing. Same deal here. I'm going to go this way, start for here. And just so you guys can see, I'm in not the best position, but you're going to hold, go, push, 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 good. And that's it can be her left side, extra rotation. And we're going to go next test. All right, and then next is the adduction squeeze test. Um, so this one asks for which side you're going to do. Uh, but for me, it's technically one value. So go ahead and turn on your uh, back, basically. Uh, so some questions people asked was, how do you do it with something like this? So uh, whether you hold it like this, and kind of stabilize it there versus this. Um, you would think it might matter just because the, there is evidence to show that like degrees changes. But when we tested out in my course, we found that there was no difference between the value or pain levels between holding it like this versus adding some extra distance on it like this. Um, so you could do it either way. I'll show it both ways just so you guys can get a, a understanding on it. And again, we're going to make sure that um, even though it says right side, we're going to get like one global value. And we're going to instruct them to squeeze both sides as hard as they can. So we're going to go here. All right, so Stacey, remember, you're going to squeeze as hard as you can both sides for five seconds, and I'll count for you again. Ready, and go. Squeeze, 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 and rest. Uh, any pain there? Zero to ten. So she said four out of ten pain. And then that was uh, 158 newtons. So now we'll test this way and see, see what she gets then. All right, ready? And same thing, ready? And go. Squeeze, 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 and rest. Okay. Uh, zero out of ten pain, what you get? Same. So she's in the same amount of pain, four out of ten. Um, this one was 129, uh, probably 158. So if it might be different, we're not going to do three reps, but if you take three reps, it might be different there too, especially if you take the max value. Uh, and then next, we're going to go into left side. Again, I'm just going to kind of give this a fault value there, and I'm going to skip it. And then I'm going to go start testing. So now this is flexion right side. I'm going to come here. Again, I want to support her leg when I'm ready. Put it here. Ready, hold, 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 and rest. Good. And then that's one there. Switch sides to the left. Start testing. And we're going to have you come right here. Ready? And hold. Push, 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 and rest. Good. And that'll be the whole testing sequence there. So we're going to hit finish on here. After that, you guys can see here that it'll give me Hopefully it'll focus in. So Ricky, we're going to look at uh, all these values right here. So this will go over the, each result. And um, it'll give right side, absolute values, and then you can just scroll for the different motions to look at it. So that's how I run my sequence through the Dynamo, because it's app-based. Um, it's going to be a little different in sequencing. Uh, so it really is based on protocol. It did involve me moving a lot more. It did involve Stacy moving a lot more. But overall, you could see that if you have it down with or without a PT tech or someone helping you out, you could still get it done pretty fast relatively to what people think um, hip testing takes for six different motions. Um, so comment any questions you might have in, below. And then there are some helpful links for your description as well. Thanks.